Now you're ready to apply undercoat. It is very simple to do. It sands to an exceptionally smooth matte finish, so it's easy to check hull fairness. In cases where the gel coat is in very poor condition, it must be primed with Interprotect before the application of the Perfection undercoat. Contact International for guidance if you are unsure whether Interprotect is required on your boat. Firstly, put on your safety glasses, gloves and overalls, then stir the contents of each component. The components must be mixed in the volume ratio of base to curing agent shown on the product label. Measure out appropriate volumes by decanting the components into a separate container, a paint kettle for example. Stir thoroughly together and then leave for 10 minutes to allow any bubbles to disperse. Thoroughly dust off the hull with a tack rag to remove final traces of dust. Now you can begin to apply the undercoat. Start somewhere where the overlap won't be noticeable, such as on the bow or on the corner of the transom. Roller apply an even coat on one section and lightly tip off the surface vertically with a brush to remove any roller stipple. Be careful not to apply the coat too thickly so as to avoid runs and sags. Move to the next section and roll and tip off with a brush in the same way. Along the overlap, quickly work the brush up and down over the surface to merge the layers together, then lightly tip off with the brush vertically to finish. When you have finished the first coat, clean the brush and suspend it in thinners number 9. Discard the roller when it's dry. Allow the first coat to dry. See the product label for details of the overcoating times. These will vary depending on the ambient temperature. For example, at 23 degrees centigrade, the second coat can be applied after 10 hours. So leave it overnight. Apply the second coat in the same way as the first, rolling and tipping off with a brush. Make sure you re-coat the entire area. When you have finished the job, thoroughly clean the brush in thinners number 9 and discard the roller when it's dry. Leave the second coat to dry overnight following the guidance on the product label. Now you are ready to machine sand the undercoat surface using 400 grey paper. Hand sand over the remaining areas you couldn't reach with the 400 grey paper and the sanding block. Finally, dust off the hull thoroughly.